In this problem, we're told to calculate the power output of a 14 milligram fly as it walks straight up a window pane at 2.3 meters per second. So what we're trying to do in this problem is solve for power. And so in order to solve for power, there's a formula you need to know, which is power is equal to force times velocity. So all we need to do is know the force that's gonna be acting on the fly or the force that it's gonna be exerting times its velocity. So think about the force here. So we know it's gonna have a force of gravity acting downwards on it. So its force is gonna to have to be equal to gravity if it wants to be able to go upwards. So the force in this case is just gonna be equal to mg. So in this case, uh, the power is gonna be equal to its mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the velocity. So in this case, we know its mass, we know what g is, and uh, we know what v is. Uh, but when you solve for this, you need to make sure uh, the units are correct. Uh, velocity has to be in meters per second, and then its mass has to be in kilograms. So we gotta convert bo uh, both of those before we actually plug them in. So the velocity is 2.3 centimeters per second. To get it into meters, we know there's 100 centimeters for every meter. So you want to divide by 100. So do 2.3 divided by 100. And when you do that, you're going to get the velocity equals 0 0.023. Uh, 0 0.023 centi or meters now, meters per second. So that's going to be in the correct units now. And what we want to do is convert from milligrams into kilograms. So basically, uh, there are a a thousand milligrams per gram and then there's a thousand grams per kilogram so what you do is basically divide by a million or a thousand twice and so when you do that you're just going to get it equals or the mass is going to be equal to 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5 kilograms so now we've got in the correct units all we have to do is just plug in so the power in this case is going to be equal to the mass which is 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5 times g which is 9.8 times the velocity, which is 0 0.023. So go ahead and plug this in, 1.4 times 10 to the minus five, and then you wanna multiply it. So 1.4 times 10 to the minus five, times 9.8, and then times 0 0.023. And so when you go ahead and do this, what you're gonna get is that it equals, or the power is gonna be equal to 3.1 five five six times ten to the minus six and then what we measure it in is watts so three point one five five six times ten to the minus six watts so that's going to be the power of uh, this fly so this is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful